Actually, you're on the second best channel uh, related to audio engineering according to Feedspot in 2019. Videos on this channel are just light addition to one of the most serious audio production courses. It's nine months in Skype. And you can attend one free trial class with current students to check exactly how we learn. How to contact me information you can see on the screen. This course has all nuances from A to Z related to the whole audio engineering. Providing the best possible results and we have homework checking when I check your mixes in real time. Showing you how to make decisions, how to improve your mixes. We compare them to the best sounding songs of all time. If you want some opinions I just took my previous video. You can see them on, on the screen these guys are my current students or my former students so you can see what they think but it's still better to attend one free trial class with current students to check it out how exactly we learn it will be very cool because you see the power of this course yourself the whole income from this youtube channel i donate to help cats and dogs so if you're interested you will help me by watching this video from the beginning to the end by liking and commenting Lexicon reverb originally creates very like uh, bright reverb. So if snare sounds bright, but it sounds bright, and I blend this reverb, this reverb will prolong all these high frequencies for very long period of time, depending on how long your decay is. If I choose to cut high frequencies, so I minimize highs, let's say I choose something like 3k, So brighter sounding, like very noisy, and all this noise will be heard in the mix all the time. You hear snare noise, but snare lasts for a really short period of time, it's just like snare and a lot of time full silence. But with reverb you're gonna hear this noise all the time. Of course, now I do bullshit, I exaggerate reverb too much, so you hear it like too much. But even at the lower level you anyway will hear this noise all the time. Maybe I want to concentrate on nice piano melody, you know, chords, uh, but instead I all the time kind of capture this kind of noise on the background, and instead of enjoying music I all the time say my, to myself, why, why something dis distracts me so much? What's going on there at the lower level? So it's not cool, but if you cut high frequencies on reverb, you're not gonna hear this noise. So you just make like much clearer sound. Maybe it's not perfect example, but you got what I mean. And second idea of it, it's especially important for vocals. Standard vocal looks like this. You have a note, sibilance, sound s, you know, very bright, very high frequency, which means very short waveform. O, then sound s, then sound e, your reverb prolongs first note. Sibilance is the most dangerous here, because sibilance will be prolonged by reverb as well, but it will be dark sounding sibilance, which means no sibilance will be prolonged. Because frequencies which are supposed to be prolonged, like 300, 500, and sibilances don't exist at so low frequencies. So that's why you're not gonna hear any noise from your sound s, it will be still short s. So you say o oh, s, and s, short tight, and that's it, and then you e, ah, and it's less and less. Instead, if you use bright reverb, your sibilance will be prolonged in high frequencies and your sibilance will be lasting and lasting and lasting and lasting. You see any like ee, ah sounds. Your sibilance will be overlapping those sounds. You know, you're gonna have uh, sibilance like covering those sounds. People want listeners to enjoy music to understand idea why, but instead listener will hear all the time like so S will be lasting and lasting forever, hiding everything else in the mix. So your mix sounds dirty, strange, and people all the time distracted by this noisy sibilance. Uh, check it out the course, because this thing guarantees results. And you can actually check free trial class with current students to check it out exactly what kind of course you may take. Secondly, you pay monthly, so it's easy to make payments. This course pretty affordable. I thought how to make a course where after the course people like are real audio guru in every subject, in every aspect of audio, and they don't only know it, but they have practical skills, they know how to listen to, how to make decisions, all this you will learn in this course. Find out details and attend free trial class, how to contact me information is on the screen.